Here are a few things that some people forget to pack when they come to visit London. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jess and I make videos for people who are coming to visit London. And if it's your first time, I have a special freebie for you at the end of this video. First off, a plug adapter. If you're coming from pretty much any country besides the UK, your plugs for your electronics are not going to fit into the sockets here. So you'll want to bring one or two of these plug adapters so that you can use those electronics. These are only to be used with dual voltage electronics. So you'll need to double check which of your electronics are dual voltage. And I'll leave a link in the description of this video that will help you figure out which of them are. But things like phone chargers and laptop chargers are usually dual voltage. So those are fine to use with these. Anything that's not dual voltage, you would technically need a power converter but I don't usually recommend those because I've fried a lot of electronics with those, so I would just leave anything that's not dual voltage at home. Copies of your credit card. In case you lose any of your credit or debit cards, having copies of the front and the back of them make it a lot easier for you to call up your card companies and report them as lost or stolen. Copies of your passport. If you ever end up losing your passport, it is much easier for you to get a replacement while you're in London if you already have physical copies or pictures of your passport on your phone, so make sure you have those. A copy of your itinerary details. When you get to London, you are going to be going through border control, and for that, you're going to need the address of your hotel or your Airbnb or whoever you're staying with, as well as evidence that you plan to eventually leave the UK when you're supposed to. And it's better not to rely on having that information on your phone in case it dies. So you'll wanna make sure you also have physical copies of all of that information. A reusable water bottle and a reusable coffee cup. London is trying to be a lot greener these days and actually a lot of coffee shops are offering discounts on drinks for people who bring in their own reusable cups so that they don't have to give them paper ones. So you can save some money if you want your coffee or tea on the go and you have your own refillable cup. And the same goes for a refillable water bottle. You won't have to keep buying plastic water bottles and also you'll be saving the planet by just refilling this for free at some of the city's refill points or just at some of the restaurants. Clothing layers. Because London's weather changes so frequently, even in just a one day period, the best way to make sure that you're dressed either warm enough or cool enough throughout the entire day is by layering. So pack outfits that allow you to layer so you can peel things off when you're too hot, but also make sure you're staying cool when the temperature drops later in the evening. For example, for an outfit like this, I would recommend bringing a cardigan and I would usually wear this on top of this shirt, but under my jacket to make sure I'm nice and warm. But then when I pop into like a restaurant or any place that's actually warm inside, I will take this off along with my jacket. Nicer evening outfits. If you're planning on going to some nicer dinners in the evening or maybe to some of the bars or clubs, you'll probably wanna consider having a nicer outfit for the evening compared to what you wore during the day. But the good thing is you don't have to change up your entire outfit. You can just switch out a couple things from your day outfit to make it a little fancier. For example, I might add a blazer on top of what I wore during the day. Um, both guys and girls could do that, or you might wanna just switch up your shoes from your walking shoes to something a little bit nicer, like boots, or for men, just shoes that are a little bit dressier. A SIM card or a Wi-Fi device. If you watched my video about how to get your phone connected while you're in London, then you might be thinking of getting a SIM card or a Wi-Fi device. Make sure that you order it to your home in enough time so it gets there before you leave. And don't forget to put it in your carry-on so you can have it right as soon as you get off the plane and you can make sure it does not get lost if your luggage does. If it's your first time visiting London, then you should grab my free London 101 guide. It tells you everything you need to know before you touch down here in London. You can get that for free by clicking the card popping up in the corner over here or the link in the description. And if you want more tips for planning your trip to London, then you can click on the box that's popping up down there. I'm Jess and I make videos for I'm Jess and I make people's for videos where and
No, let me try again. <laughs> 